Welcome everyone to Living with the Times. This week is Tu Bishvat, and I would like to share with you a story that is not directly connected to Tu Bishvat, but in a sense represents its very essence. And this is a story of the Ritepsker Rebbe, who in around 1770 brought hundreds of families with him and they made Aliyah to the land of Israel. This is really the, the, the first Aliyah. There had not been such a case of so many people coming at once. And so the Rebbe from Vitebsk settled in Svat and later into Tveria. And he's actually buried in Tveria. And one day he called his students together and said, tonight we have to have a celebration. And so everyone comes. They come with refreshments, a few l'chaims, and they're singing and celebrating. And at one point, one of the students says, Rebbe, you didn't tell us what are we celebrating? Why, why did you call us together for a celebration? So he said, let me tell you a story. A Hasidic story is always a story within a story. So he said like this, when I was a young boy living in Europe, so around every year, a few representatives from the community of Eretz Yisrael used to visit the different towns and cities of Europe, collecting money because it was almost impossibly hard to live in Eretz Yisrael in those days. And they were somewhat dependent on charity from Jewish communities. So they would go around from community to community, raising money, but also telling stories about what is Eretz Yisrael like? What is it like to live in Eretz Yisrael? And the Rebbe from Betes is telling this story to his students. He said, I, I was always so fascinated, fascinated. And I always asked, can't you tell me more? I always wanted to hear more. So one time, one of these representatives came and he told the stories about Eretz Yisrael. And afterwards, I asked him, Please tell me more of the holiness of Eretz Yisrael. And so the man said, I could see that you, your soul is very connected to Eretz Yisrael. So I want to tell you a great secret. When you can hear the land of Eretz Yisrael singing, when you can hear the song of the grasses of the field, and the trees, then you'll understand the holiness of the land of Israel. So the Rebbe said to his students, he said, we've been here now 20 years, and I never forgot what this person told me. And so I would go out and commune in the fields, and always waiting to hear the song of the land. And this morning, after so many years, I was actually able to hear the melody of the grasses of the field and of the flowers. And I could hear the song of the trees. And then I realized I had finally arrived in the land of Israel. So I've always loved this story, and it has a lot to do with Tu Bishvat, because Tu Bishvat, along with being the New Year of the Trees, is also a, a celebration, an acknowledgement of the beauty of the land of Israel, the beauty of nature in general, which is called Gedulah Taboreh, the, the wonders 
of the Creator. And to hear the song of creation. So this reminds us of Perak Shira. Perak Shira is a enigmatic midrash based on 70 different creations from the mineral world, the stars and the moon and the sun and the mountains and the rivers. Everything is singing a song. And then Parakshura continues with the vegetable kingdom, the plant kingdom, the trees and the grains and every, everything of the vegetable kingdom. Everything is singing. And then it goes on to the, the animals, the animal kingdom. And so there's 70 different creations and they're all singing from the inanimate through the vegetable and plant world, through, the, through all of the animals. And of course, it's human beings who, according to tradition, it was David or David and Shlomo who composed Perak Shira. So they were hearing the song of all creation. And so one of the great secrets of Tubishvat is to understand that there is life force, there is soul, and there is consciousness on every level of creation. And even modern research has delved into the soul and consciousness that is part of the plant world. And of course, animals sing and, and communicate, and human beings have complex thought and speech. And science has even found out that on the atomic molecular level, there is a whirling frenetic vibrational energy, especially in the idea called string theory, where music is actually the building blocks, is the fabric of all creation. So this Tubishvat, take a moment to go outside and listen to the birds, listen to the wind, and may we all merit to hear the song of nature, the song of the Creator. And for those here in Eretz Yisrael, to hear, like the Vitebsker heard, the song of the Holy Land. <laughs>